Hey, so I'm at the closing of an art gallery show that my friend Melinda Dahl did. And um, it's called Josephine. Here's the... I waited until almost everyone left so that I could show you guys the pictures. Not everyone likes to be filmed. You know how it goes. Um, but remember my friend Ellie that, uh, that we were telling you people of Earth stuff? <laughs> Here's a picture of her. All of them are just gorgeous. Aren't the colors on that one amazing? She just did that with colored pencil. There's Melinda's sister, Caitlin. I love this one. So there we go. Aren't the photos beautiful? And this one is called Wonderland. It's very Alice in Wonderlandy. Hello, Melinda. Hi. This is your beautiful art on the walls. <laughs> yes, this is all my art. Would you like to tell us the story behind the sure, art? Sure, I would. I would love to. Um, so basically, this is a series. It's called Josephine, and it's actually based on a song that I wrote. The song is about a woman who's not really a real person. It's sort of a woman that I can identify with and connect with, sort of like in a past life and future. All of the women in these photographs are mostly my friends and my close family members. And then there was a video. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but I can give you a glimpse. Do you want to be on camera talking about how much you like it? <laughs> I, I helped work on this video. You did? What yeah. did you do? Um, I, I pressed the camera sometimes, and I, I, um, I brought all the food. No one brought any food. <laughs> Caitlin and I have just discovered that she has exceptionally long arms. Yes, I do. I'm at least three inches taller than her, and our <laughs> arms are the same length. If you put the shoulder right next. We have exceptionally long arm Caitlin. That's what they call me. That's what we are going to call you from now on. It's exceptionally long arm Caitlin. It's a long nickname. But it's worth it, right? Yes, very worth it. <laughs> There's no fish in it. It's shrimp. This is where it is. It's in Chinatown, down, downtown. And there are all these beautiful lanterns. Can you believe it? Oh, yes. Wait, pretty. Hi. <laughs> so this is me. And I'm really drunk. And this is a really nice picture. Were you drunk in the photograph as well? You know, I really shouldn't tell anyone this, but I was, I was a little bit, I was a little bit drunk. She doesn't know that, so, so don't tell. She's gonna know soon. She's gonna know, but you know, I think she'll like it because it really added to the uh, It clearly added. Insanity. I'm right home and I'm like, look mom, I, was, I did this photo shoot. And she's like, like you being dead so much? Not so much. Parents don't tend to like photographs or films where you're dead. I've noticed this. It's true. Yeah, they, it kind of upsets them. Yep. So, <laughs> all you kids at home, try to uh, do things, look alive. Or if you're rebelling, take a dead looking photograph of yourself. Don't drink beer and smoke cigarettes. Just take a dead looking picture of yourself. Exactly. Just look like you're dead. <laughs> you know, it's really, it's, it's the high road. Take the high road, you guys. <laughs> Look like you're dead. Don't actually act like you want to be dead. It'll be fine. Good. This is a positive announcement this to the world. This is the moral of this story.